Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your invitation. I really apologize for that, uh, for the delay. My name is Leandro Garbin, and I'm responsible for business stuffs over here at Virtual Parks. So today I will talk about topology optimization, an automotive case study running Virtual Parks integrated to MSC Nastran. As I told you before, my name is Leandro Garbin. And right now I am located over here in Brazil. So uh, I just will talk a little bit more about the agenda, why topology optimization, why virtual parts, who is virtual parts, and some success cases we have done running uh, the both tools, Nestran and uh, virtual parts. Why topology optimization? Normally, the companies have some design criteria that needs to attend. For example, maximum stress, maximum frequency value, buckling load, for example. And at the concept analysis, you need to fix something like that. So, it's strongly dependent of the engineering company experience. And uh, it, in, it avoids new insights over behavior of the structure. Over here at the conceptual phase, you need to fix something like that. So after that, after, after the conceptual analysis, conceptual phase, you need to go to the CAD process. So usually it's the user corrects the shape and position of the members. On the CAD phase, you need to, of course, put comes through the concept analysis. After that, during the CAE analysis, you will run the static analysis, model analysis, linear buckling, for example, and you need to go to the CAM, to the computer aided manufacturer. Like this example, I will talk a little bit more about casting. So, uh, this kind of criteria, as I told you before, normally the conceptual phase, you need to enter the topology optimization. It's a very great tool for the process life, for the process uh, design, uh, don't need to be very dependent from the engineering experience. And normally topology optimization cover this kind of phase. Over here you can see the topology optimization cycle. For example, on that conceptual phase, as I told you before, you need to include the optimization problems in statements. And after that, you need to define the extended design domain. I will show you, I will go in deep in some details like that. And after that, you need to run filtering, sensitivity, optimize, and CAE analysis. As soon as you have the final analysis over here, you need to export the new geometry. Normally, we work with STL model. And inside this STL model, you need to import this STL model in your CAD systems to do the CAD interpretation. And after that, the CA analysis and the King analysis. So topology optimization really can help you a lot uh, how to define the new geometry for your part to your assembly, for example. Over here, you can see it's a very didactic sample. It's a share. Over here, you can see a share. You have a load case and you have a very heavy share. So considering the property materials, considering the load cases, you need to define in some interaction the best design or the lightweight design for this share. Uh, it's a very didactic sample. Over here, you can see the the link that you can download the article of that and another example i just will show you a small video that this me video you can see how topology optimization can just fill up some parts that really it's uh, solicited so this one it's a it's a real case as you can see it's a real case that we have done together to cannons and uh, after that, I will show you some more example about how topology optimization can help you during your process, during your project process. Uh, some benefits. I will tell you some benefits about the topology optimization. 
So topology optimization improves the conceptual design. It can, in many cases, lead to improve component performance, reduce the component mass, reduce overall manufacturing costs, and of course, reduce the design cycle. Uh, in the end of this presentation, the success case that you will see, it's really, uh, it's really capable. You will see how some companies can have some good benefits using this kind of tool. So, tell you just a little bit more about Virtual Pikes. Uh, Virtual Pikes is a company that's our mission. It's really to provide optimization soft and engineering consulting that allows the best design solution to the customer engineering needs. Okay, just to do not have any, uh, for, just for to not have uh, any extreme thing. The same name of the company is the same name of the software. Okay, so the software uh, Virtual Pikes is a topology optimization software which transforms an extended, not defined geometry and in an in a innovative design with minimum weight of course and maximum stiffness so our really intention is to reduce the weight and increase the stiffness promoting a reduction of the time requirement and engineering development design cycles it delivers a broad range of structural improvements including a less weight great efficiency better performance reduced energy needs and overall development costs and that we consider our main advantage is constant innovation supported by close ties to the universities. Nowadays, we have a very good relation with some universities, mainly in Chicago and another one in Hanover in Germany. Uh, superior, superior product results, flexible business model and competitive price, of course. This one is our... Uh, our a mark that we we can show that we can promote our solution since our space up to valves and pamps as you can see at this slide and where we are located our headquartered in Chic is in Chicago we have another unit in Hanover in Germany and we work as a sales representative over here in Brazil that I am right now just uh, fixing some problems, but normally I am located in Germany. So, in states, we are located at IIT, Illinois Institute of Technology, that are a very great place called the University Tech Park, that is the place that we are located. And we have another unit in Hanover, in Germany, at Wissenschaftspark. Wissenschaftspark means knowledge park in German. Let's talk a little bit more about uh, some technical some technical features. Uh, nowadays we use the MSC Nastran solver during the optimization cycles. So we don't use our own solver. We use the Nastran solver. Nowadays we have this integration with Nastran, with Ansys and with Abacus. Uh, the optimization nowadays we are totally able to run linear static and frequency for a while and we are improving our solver to run some non-linear so non-linearities for example material non-linearities geometric non-linearities and contact friction we are going to do that but Right now, to running with Nastran, we are totally available to run just with linear static and frequency. The software itself is very robust and modern filter techniques that improve frequency solution results. If you uh, ask me, so which are your best feature of virtual pipes? I can tell you, is frequency constraints. Frequency constraint with both pretension it's really our main knowledge we have a lot of experience on that that we can show you and we can share some information about that about the manufacturing constraints it's very important nowadays we have about 26 manufacturing constraints since casting extrusion symmetry maximum and minimum member size and my pattern repetition 
Uh, about uh, about the manufacturing constraints, it's very important to mention that we have a very close connection together to Magma. Magma is a software that can simulate casting parts. For example, we can recognize some casting parts, some uh, property materials. The real property materials came from Magma. We, we can import those those uh, property materials up to our GUI, our graphical user interface that I will show you, and run the external solver running Nastran using the right uh, property materials. I will show you our GUI, our graphical user interface. And we consider that Virtual Paxis is a unique solution who can uh, run compliant mechanisms. What does it mean compliant mechanisms? Compliant mechanisms means flexible mechanisms. You can include intelligence. You can put intelligence to your mechanisms that I will show you and success case we have done together to uh, testing group uh, in Germany. And uh, the possibility to connect some multiple solutions, for example, modal press trusses. Uh, nowadays, with Nastron, as I told you in the beginning, we are just able to run linear static and frequency constraint. Okay, but with other solvers, we are able to run multi physics analysis. For example, canes load, uh, loads came from CFD, loads came from uh, electromagnetics, loads came from uh, thermal structural analysis and running the topology optimization on the same loop. So, this one is the Virtual Pyxis graphical user interface. As you can see over here, the optimization configuration is a very simple GUI. Okay, very simple GUI. You can define your optimization configuration. Okay, after that, you can open your model. You can open your Nastro model or your Abacus model or your ENSYS model. As you can see over here, nowadays we you can you can choose the external solver or Abacus dots INP or ENSYS dot that or Nastron dot that. You can import those kinds of data. And after that, as soon you have your model, this model is a very academic. It's a very academic model called Carmen Low. Okay, it's a trading arm, it's a simple example, it's a didactic example, just to, to let you know about our capability. After that, you need to add your functions and constraints. It's very simple over here. You can type the objective responsible, for example, over here, you need to reduce the mass and increase the stiffness. And you need to select the region. Over here, you have the extended domain, you have the extended design. And uh, inside on that, you, you will just tell to the software which part of the, which part the software can run the topology optimization. Uh, over here, you type the constraints, okay? It's an extrude, you will type the constraint. And finally, you run the analysis very important to mention just one more time we don't use our own solver we use an astron solver and our intention is to run non-linearity situations but right now we are just able to run linear static analysis and frequency analysis and as soon you run your topology optimization using your external solver you have the final STL model and with this STL model you can export this STL model and you can run uh, your CAD interpretation in your CAD tool. For example, Katia, UG, ProE, SolidWorks, you can choose uh, the, your CAD systems to, do, to run your CAD interpretation. So, uh, just going uh, up to the end of this presentation, it's nice to mention some success cases we have done. Over here is a courtesy by Cummings. 
it's important to mention that the software was born to supply Cummins needs. So nowadays Cummins it's our main customers, a main customer, and we have a very good knowledge in terms of engine parts. For example, engine engine mount, pinston, corrode, crankshaft, oil pan, and so on. So this one we just using advanced manufacturing constraint. Okay, the objective over here was to have a rate reduction and the loads came from engine static and service loads. So Cummins provided us the all load cases. So over here you can see the extended design, the extended domain. After that you do the mesh generation, you run the topology optimization, CAD interpretation and the final validation. And in comparing to the original model, not, to the comp not comparing to the extended design, but comparing to the original model, over here, in this case, we have about 23% of weight reduction. Unfortunately, I can't show you some more complex cases. This one we are allowed to show you, another one we have a, a lot of confidentiality inside, but this one is a good opportunity to show you uh, how to get a lightweight design. Over here, we use in pattern design with rotational symmetry and extrusion. And extrusion, sorry, it's a gear. Okay, it's as you can see. So should be a simple gear, but it's not so simple because it's a polymer. So no linearity. Uh, the loads came from working loads. Okay, and over here you have the original model, the third, the fourth interaction up to the third interaction. And over here, we have got about 35% of mass reduction. In this case, we have running together to C3. C3 is a small company located over here in the south of Brazil. And over here at the video, you can see just a little bit about the topology optimization cycle. Okay. So, this case, it's very interesting very very interesting because the objective over here was not to get a lightweight design but was to get the homogeneous reaction at the all seven bolts over here you can see seven bolts it at the support one two three four five six, seven bolts okay we using material nonlinearities over here and the loads came from hops hops means rollover protector structure it's a standard the standard called ISO 5700. So this, uh, this support, it's assembled over here in the cabin, okay? And in the tractor powertrain. So the original model of this one was this model. And we just performed the extended design, the mesh generation, we run it a topology optimization and CAD interpretation and final validation. So you can see how different is this new design. But as you can see, the objective was not to get a mass reduction. So you can use topology optimization for other kinds of purpose, for other things, not just to have a lightweight design. So this case, it's one of the most important I'd like to show you. Using compliant mechanisms, so flexible mechanisms. The objective over here was to avoid the piston opening. This project is called pinless project. And the loads came from tension and compression. We just have got the loads came from AVL software, AVL queries. And Tyson Group just hired us. So, virtual pipes, I'd like to remove the pin that connects the crown rod and the pin stone. Please remove the pin. But when it happens and you use the same, the same design of the pin stone and you have the traction load case, the piston side using to open, piston stretch using to open. This kind of behavior of course, it's not good to the engine because the engine is going to stuck. 
and running topology optimization, running virtual pipes, using the same material and using the same loading conditions, we just have got this new design. So, how to manufacture this new design? This is the reason that right now we are working very close to the additive manufacturing. So, 3D printer is really increasing a lot. And this is the reason that right now we are working very close with some additive manufacturing companies. So, over here you have this new design using the same material. And when you have the same load case, the piston side over here will not open, but will close. So, over here you can see a intelligence. You can put, we can include intelligence to your mechanisms, okay? Using topology optimization, and on that case, we are working on the elastic part of the property material. So, people, uh, over here you can see all my, all my data, you can see my email, you can see over here our address located in Chicago. We are totally available to provide you some more information about topology optimization. I really uh, need to thank MSC for the invitation, thanks Mr. John Jonovich, thanks Mrs. Christina Finney for the invitation. And right now, I am totally available if somebody has some questions. Thank you very much, or as German says, vielen Dank für Ihre Aufmerksamkeit.